Hi everybody. So if you want to build a budget PC with an Athlon X4 950, you have to choose a graphics card at some point. And two GPUs you could consider are the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 or an AMD Radeon RX 560. Theoretically, both are pretty close in performance, but if you have a relatively weak CPU like an Athlon, efficient drivers for DirectX 11 become very important not to give the CPU un unnecessary load. And because of that, one of those cards is the better choice for the Athlon if you're mainly playing in DirectX 11 games. As you know, AMD is doing pretty well in Vulkan and DirectX 12, where the full control is given to the game instead of the driver developers. By now, Nvidia does their very well too, so that field is okay for both GPU makers. But since many games are still done for DirectX 11, it makes sense to take the Athlon paired with some bigger brothers of those 1050s and RX 560s like a GeForce 1060 and a Radeon RX 470 or 570, take some AMD supported games or sponsored games like Tomb Raider or Deus Ex or Crisis 3, lower the resolution, effects and post-processing while letting the details and geometry to high to eliminate a potential GPU bottleneck and see how many frames the Athlon can push. Here, take my back up. Dave, three to come out. Keep low. As you could see in my tests, in CPU limited situations, and if you have a budget CPU like an Athlon, that happens a lot, you are doing better with an NVIDIA card in DirectX 11. That does not mean that that's always the case in every DirectX 11 game, but I think it's safe to say that in general, if you have the choice between a 1050 or an RX 560, the 1050 is a better choice. And I've tested that with AMD sponsored games. If you do this comparison with game work, game works titles, it gets even worse. So, see ya.